Hello Value Investors, thank you for joining me. My name is Michael from Deep Value Returns on Seeking Alpha. Today I want to talk about Atlassian. So Atlassian is a workflow management company. It's expensively priced, but it's growing at a rapid rate. And it makes a lot of free cash flow. So I'm just gonna dig in and let you see what you think. Okay, so just out of interest, when I uh, talked about this company last time back in uh, August, I noted that the company was just, you know, the outlook had never been rosier. I was quite, uh, I said at the time that yes, the stock is expensive, but ultimately there is a compelling enough uh, investment here. And in this time since then, the S&P is kind of down 3% and this the stock has outperformed kind of approximately 14%. Now, this is not to say that you know anything can happen in a short period of time, but my point that I want to emphasize is that there's this move overall in companies, in software companies, uh, towards fleeing towards the best um, company, fleeing towards the company that has the longest, most predictable high growth rates. So just to emphasize this, okay? So companies that investors are kind of have any doubts about, irrespective of the underlying valuation, investors are just dumping. And valuation isn't being so much, so important right here for these companies. And you can see that going from the start of the year into July, the divergence of these companies was quite narrow. But then since July, there's just been this thing in the market where investors are just not really sure about it. So it's not about COVID, it's not a COVID trade. It's just that investors are kind of fleeing towards the companies that they know are going to be around and growing at a reasonable rate all forward going forward in investments that are kind of like mm, investors are feeling that they're going to be a drop like in twilio or bandwidth uh, where there's kind of like uh, there's things there's the illusion that it's not particularly solid and predictable that growth rate investors are just dumping so it's quite an interesting dynamic uh, i don't pass any judgment on that i'm just saying that you know something to kind of keep mindful about uh, the other thing that I wanted to highlight about Atlassian particularly is that it, if you look at it, the growth rate is not particularly like eye popping, right? So we're talking about a company is compounding at 30% and it's probably going to continue compounding at 30% for a prolonged period of time. But it's not, you know, there are plenty of other companies in the SaaS world that are growing much faster than this. So it's not like the fastest growth. It is attractive, but it's not like, you know, eye popping. Um, the other thing that I wanted to highlight is that if you think about it, so they have kind of five products, but really two main ones, which is Jira and Confluence. Jira is kind of like a, like a sign or a smart sheet on Monday.com. It's basically about, about companies being able to track and organize their work, okay? Confluence is more about content collaboration. You can think about this like in the case of like Slack is a good example or Google Workspaces. Uh, so it's ability to kind of uh, share that content via many different um, users. So that's that's the two main products right there. And you can see that the customer growth is coming particularly strong and it's coming particularly strong not so much in the customers that are spending 50k but really in the bigger customers spending like more than a million in revenues and um, you can see it's up 70 percent year over year in 20 fiscal 21 so it clearly shows that amongst the bigger enterprises it's really resonating because once one user gets on board and starts using it you have to share it with somebody it's like a telephone right you can't just have one telephone you have to couple of telephones to call different people same here so the more people use it, the more powerful, the, the, the more viral this becomes. Um, the other thing that I wanted to highlight is that Atlassian makes free cash flow like few other businesses out there. It has a free cash flow margin of 37%. Okay, So even if you look at the flagship businesses in software, not many of them are able to put out 37% free cash flow margin. So growth, solid. Free cash flow, very compelling. And the question mark is really whether or not Paying, uh, paying 38 times forward sales is compelling enough. So that's the thing, right? So Asana is kind of a crowd favorite right now, but if you normalize for where the fiscal years finish for Atlassian, because they don't have the same fiscal years, um, uh, Atlassian and Asana, they kind of price very similarly. And also just throw in there, um, it's slightly cheaper, but Monday.com is priced approximately, if you, if you normalize for the fiscal year, it's priced approximately 32 times forward sales. So it's just the price that investors are paying for this space. Now, you may come back and say, okay, um, the whole market in this space is overvalued. And 
that could be something maybe i don't know um, but i just wanted to point out that that's probably not going to be constructive enough because the market typically is more right than investors give it credit for so i'm not saying go out and double down on this investment not at all i'm just saying that it seems expensive but once you kind of peel back some layers there's there's reasons why it's expensive um, that being said if you want to find out what kind of stocks i'm particularly passionate about don't forget to check out my marketplace it's called deep value returns where i help you become a better investor you can check out what other people said in my marketplace you'll see the five star reviews and yeah get on board get involved and get engaged and i hope to see you soon bye bye